go straight into things here. Lewis is going to be the first attacker coming in, and we're going to find out what he can do in the first attack and the first war of the day. Yeah, so Lewis is bringing us through with a Zapquake Lalo, and I noticed this Ice Golem here, which means we're going to look to pick up some nice value with the hero so we have some tanking action. As you see, he drops the Zapquake in the core, taking out the scatter shot. Uh, we do have some multis that are easily picked off on the outside edge of the base, so he can help take them out with his heroes or make an easy pass with the loons. But we've got the blimp sailing in to help take on the town hall. Should have some sneaky goblins coming out, makes a successful push in there. Sneaky goblins make their way in. They are going to get that taken down and now we have the push for our heroes to help connect where we took down the core of that base um, where we'd see potentially some traps so we want to keep the loons from pathing in there so heroes coming in to take this on yeah, we had a couple of loons here and there as well just to see if i can bait out any traps but we haven't really seen any traps as of yet so it's in a little bit panicky here and there but we're still pushing in from that 10 o'clock position to see if we can use that freeze once again to delay the dps from the defense on the side of the bad zinger squad but still they're looking pretty good to so still continue to push on through and see what he can do in these next few minutes yeah, so Queen's a little bit astray, but the King's doing perfect tanking for her, and not only her, but for the Royal Champion, who's looking to take on that multi-targeting Inferno. And the reason we want to take these down is because they can really destroy your loons very quickly. So that is a, a successful opener here, and this gives them the opportunity to really navigate the pathing for the loons. The Royal Champ even just hanging on to help out with a couple more defenses. Now we see this Warden has not used his ability yet, coming in now to help push through the scatter shot, but also help take down um, the defending RC here. So that gives the headhunters the opportunity to successfully take her on. Now, the only other thing we have to worry about is this eagle. Yeah, it certainly has indeed. Hasn't done a huge amount of damage as of yet. Been pretty lucky so far. You saw earlier that those hidden testers were in that three o'clock position, which he found out sadly for himself. If he actually managed to bail one of the loons there, it would have been okay. But yeah, so far, still to continue to push on. And not really too much defense left as of yet. Still got an archer town to clear up and some of the mines and storages here and there on that bottom half as well. But still looking pretty good. Still plenty of time it'd be. And I think he's going to be pretty happy with that first attack. Oh, he is indeed. This was a lovely Lalo. It was just very clean cut, straightforward. And you can see specifically the value he was looking to take on with each and every move here. Yeah, I'm just a little bit surprised. You know, that was pretty much a dream start. You could see there, he couldn't find any traps. He's getting a little bit worried here and there. Sadly, the attack he made on a three o'clock position, there was a lot of testers, a lot of hidden bits and pieces here and there where he probably thought to himself, of all the places he selected, he selected the wrong one, which is absolutely typical, but some good free spells here and there. The Eagle Artillery, you know, kind of mistargeted some of the balloons he actually wanted to attack as well because there was a few, there was a few missed shots, but that rage ball came in nicely just to speed things up a little bit. But like you said, it was a very, very clean attack and that was exactly what Penn needed. Absolutely. It really shows why these teams are here, why they've made it this far. So even though they're in the lower bracket, they're doing phenomenal work. Now we've got Hel uh, Helamal Moy. Now this is actually LP, who is a former 2019 world champion from Nova, who's just joined Badzinger as of this year. And he is known for his Lalos. He is a very clean pet Lalo attacker. Uh, but we have to see if Penta might be looking to try and hold them back will do indeed just clearing up some of the structures here and there on that three o'clock position to make way for the loons coming in shortly the queen does come out as well with the unicorn and the king yak as well but pretty good so far just being a little bit careful here still pushing up so far but yeah like i said just clean out some of the cannons some of the bits and even with the eagle artillery bear but not too bad so far as the quake comes in into that middle of the map with the ice golems as well just to you know take the damage and delay things further but we'll see how things will pan out in the next few minutes yeah this is a lovely start as well we do have one tesla that remains in the core though and the reason why we do want to take these down again is because we would likely see a lot of the traps here so we're trying to avoid any pathing from the loons to get inside but the queen still got her ability left over so she can actually make her way through it with the king beating through the wall this is going to help perfectly blimp sailing in to take on the town hall here picks up a couple of traps but it's a nice shallow push he's able to successfully get that in there's not a lot left here for the loons to actually clean up we're at the 50 percent mark and he's just dropping his lala with the queen forcing the ability to help pick up some stray traps um and some of the straight defenses on the inside of the base. 
you know, Lynx must be thinking, where's everything gone? I've come here and there's nothing here, but, you know, it will be taken down the more to the cannons. There's still an air defence there, but let's be honest, there isn't really too much as well as the Expo still trying to do a little bit down quick, just focus firing on the Queen. The Queen should be okay, she'll be able to stay alive, just making sure, but actually, funny enough, as I said, that the King did go over and take her down, but not too bad. There's still a minute 20 left on the clock, still plenty of time to clear everything up, but yeah, again, once more, another clean attack, but this time for Moy. Yeah, the, and those ground bows really, they don't affect the loons, so they were just taking down the queen. So that's huge. When you're planning these Lalo attacks, these are some of the things that you want to keep in consideration is what's on the back end of the defense. You saw that he clearly took out the uh, the scatter shot and an eagle early on, so having some ground damage on the back end does not hurt at all. Really nice play here from LP. Yeah, I think the eagle at the beginning got taken down. Yeah, you're right. That was absolutely huge. Luckily, the king yeah, actually took the right path going around from the 3 o'clock position to the 12 o'clock position, just making sure actually cleaning up the bulk of the attack. And, you know, when the rest of the loons came in, there wasn't really too much to do with it. You know, in terms of the expo and the air defense and some other bits and pieces, there wasn't really too much there to finish off. So, again, another clean start, another free start, 100%. And, you know, both teams are probably thinking, well, you know, it's neck and neck here. And what do we need to do now to take down the next defense? But we're going to see how Penta will match up against the wasted here and see what he can do. See if he can get another three stars to their name. And so he's coming in with a P.E.K.K.A. Smash. I call this a Super P.E.K.K.A. Smash because it brings in the Super Wizards um, to the meta with this. Now, we get that early wall break open to start working the Queen through, but you can see that he has delayed dropping his healers, and that's because we have this exterior um, air defense, and we want to get it taken down before the healers are impacted because it's such a tight compartment here. But we do have the Coco Loon drop to help protect them to pick up any traps that might be along the way and this is a, a beautiful compartment to start off with taking down the eagle i like that he's bringing in the queen here a lot of times we see warden starting this off but they can be very slow moving and um this queen's gonna help speed things up move along but you can see he's got the next passage open so we can keep everything pathing through we do have a blimp here so i know that we're gonna see this coming in to take on the town hall as he gets the movement coming in yeah this is fantastic stuff so far with the queen Unicorn there from the free clock position. Didn't find anything the first time round with that last loon, so listen, literally just pushing this in now to see if there's any other traps just dwindling it downwards. But I haven't found anything as of yet, so so far, you know, not looking too good in terms of finding some of these traps. But then again, you may have to, you could actually push from that side as well. Everything's pretty clear in terms of all the structures. Just taking out some of the defense from that position won't be too bad. You can see just using another one in that four o'clock position just to see if you can find anything here. And I don't think he's too worried as of yet. He's had a very good start with the queen as well, pushing on. Forward, but the blimp is now going to be arriving very shortly here, B. Yeah, that blimp coming in. We did pick up a trap there, but what I'm a bit worried about is uh, we need to see this warden ability coming off. Gets it right to the edge. Just clips it to get it safely pushed in. The air sweeper just knocks back that blimp slightly, but it's not too much that it can't get the town hall taken down. We've got a lovely approach coming in and just a couple of super wizards left over, but the main thing is that we have the queen alive. Unfortunate, though, that we do not have her ability, so the royal champ has a lot of work to do right now, and and because he's bringing an invisibility spell and has two more freezes left over, this could help out quite a bit. But one of the things that we're going to want to look out for lethal here is that back end scatter shot. Yeah, it's going to be very cautious now and have to be very careful to see how things will pan out. But look at that, after that last shot, the Queen did get taken down. That was absolutely huge. Still go 44 seconds remaining, but, you know, it's not looking too good here. He's going to be pushing on through to see if he can take up as much damage as possible, try and get that percentage if he can. And you can see he hasn't got much left. Three minions in Archer, that's literally a bound here, and it's almost been taken down. I'm still pushing around the outskirts here. Still a couple of Archer Towers and Defense Wizard Tower there, and a couple more bits on the side, including that mortar mentioned earlier B so not looking too good here with the first attack which isn't as clean as all the others but you need to try and get as much percentile as possible to even things out for later on yeah I think I must have missed something because that royal champ went right through the town hall poison bomb which makes me think that when I turned my head slightly I missed that the sneaky goblins did not get the town hall taken down because that's a bit unfortunate typically for this you don't want your royal champ to have to come through and that hurt considerably so it was not only the fact that he didn't have that queen ability as he made his way through the core, but to have to use that royal champ as well and wind up going through the poison bomb is really detrimental. 
I think we're both focusing on the same thing because I literally <laughs> just missed it as well. I was like, oh yeah, she's right. Yeah, I was literally just focusing on something else at the exact same time. But yeah, that was a little bit of a shame considering the circumstances he was in right at the very beginning of the game. But we are going to see how Wasted does on the attack now and see what difference he makes. Just using that first loon here just to see if he can find any traps. But I think he did find one there, but not too sure as now we're still going to continue on that push the Queen Unicorn now and a couple of healers as well. Still looking to see if we can find anything else. Gonna take the mortar down soon and the Eagle Artillery is there for the taking if we'll be able to take it out soon enough. Yeah, this is a nice position for the Queen to push in and um, because we're coming in with the charge, we wanna pick up some nice value. We're spending a lot by using the healers here. So he needs to keep this Queen alive, try and hold on to the ability, the ability as long as possible. But we've got two more super wall breaks so we can try and force the Queen into the center of the base where we've seen the Zap Quakes come in to help take this on. We don't have that here. We need to keep the Rages to keep the Queen alive. So it's a little bit of a switch up in how we're using our spells and troops um, in combination with this. So this is gonna be a nice approach for the, uh, the Queen but we do this by forcing the king inside, opening up that wall to get him into that um, multi-targeting compartment and the royal champ over to the scatter shot with the invisibility spell and her ability. He's actually able to clear that, but didn't even need to use the invisibility spell. Yeah, didn't need to use it, but it seemed to be okay in the end anyway. So you see with this cat on the expo as well, still doing a fair chunk of damage in that middle side there. The king's still going in on the outside as well, just taking out some of the structures. The cannon as well with the yak. Both him and the yak actually are very, very weak. And we're going to see how they continue on with the scanner shot, the cannon and the wizard towers just focus on as well as that mortar on the outer side. So still got plenty left to work with. Let's be honest, DB still got 20 balloons, 13 minions. It's going to be pretty okay so far with some of the spells in their back pocket. So it's been a good start run for Wasted. It has. It was a lovely start. And that drop on the rage for the queen just to speed her up quicker, get that multi down is huge. Now, now, unfortunate that we don't get to see that stone slammer come in, take on the scatter shot, so he has to force a couple of extra loons to work their way in, but you have that nice uh, safe zone within it that once you get in, you're safe. This is should, I should say, this should be enough to move along, but we do have to go through the poison bomb from the town hall, so we lose a lot of loons despite having this warden ability, and it's this back end that's gonna be a bit tricky. One more freeze to hold up the multi in the air defense. He sweeps right in from the haste. He hangs on to the freeze for the back end. Is he looking to swag this and show off? I mean, this is super risky but he is indeed going to be able to get this one done. Oh my God, there was actually a trap there as well. He would have had even less just due to the fact that he saw that there was a trap near the air defense, but it was actually the two loons that went into it, not the other huge mass of loons coming from the other side. So it does get the free star 100% in the end, and it could have been a completely different story. If those two loons didn't actually come out towards the air defense and actually, you know, uh, prong that attack or that trap actually coming out from the air defense, that couldn't be a completely different story. It would have attacked the other 12 rather than the other two coming from the free position so that was literally one of the most minor um you won't say mistakes but one of the minor elements in the game which could have absolutely changed everything but luckily those two loons did find that what the uh, final trap near the air defense so you should be pretty pleased about that considering that attack especially for the three star 100 could have gone either way uh, now we have um, Muffin coming in, and I want to point out that he's coming in with a hybrid, which is a very difficult strategy right now in the current meta. And that's because of the way that we used to path a hybrid into these town halls, which we can no longer do. So you have to find another way to work around it, and more often than not, we're seeing the queen to take it down. But you need to keep your queen alive in the hybrid, so this is a sticky situation because you can't have your queen pass through that poison bomb. As we saw with the royal champion in one of the last attacks who died out very quickly, you'll have the same thing happen despite having healers with her, especially if those healers wind up in that same radius. So she works her way around, and ideally what we want to see is her pathing um, not through it, but around the outside um, to try and take out some of the remaining defenses and continue to work our way through. I mean, hybrids rely heavily on having your queen for the back end for cleanup. Yes, yeah, she's done, she's done a huge amount as of yet, but still getting the job done anyway. And that lava pups, which are gonna explode on her any second now, just gonna delay things even further. So give me another five to 10 second delay and this push will have to come in quite soon. Don't wanna get a time foul towards the end of this and still the expose everything on the defense. is trying to delay the queen as much as possible. But so far we're gonna see what we can do here. Just gonna continue on fourth. As you can see some attacks coming on from that three o'clock position as well. And we can see how far they get up to here. But you know, so far even though it's quite a slow push it is getting some bits done just to make sure they can clear away for this next attack. Thank you. 
He definitely is. And one of the things I want to point out is the position of that hound when it came out of the clan castle. It kept that queen delayed from going into the poison bomb. So this is a very smart move from Muffin. Now we've got the king who set up the funnel, but the hybrid to come in, he's got to use these heels right. It is a slightly widespread, a little bit wider than I, we used to typically see. And the problem for him is going to be getting through this core with the multi-targeting infernos. Now because he's gotten a good amount of value out of the king, maybe just not quite enough to get the eagle down, we at least have the reinforcement of hogs to get through. But look at these miners in the core. I mean, they're getting ripped to shreds because they've refused to go for the multi. Nothing is supporting them. They're going for the storages. And this could turn into a very solid defense for Badzinger. Yeah, this is looking much better than we expected. This hog riders commonly do too much here. Yeah, you can take out the end defense, but right now with the um, troops he has, he won't be able to do too much. Pushing now towards the cannon, so scatter shot as well. That trap's definitely not going to help him in the slightest. This thing's going from bad to worse. The queen's still in that 10 o'clock position, pushing in. Does have a cup of healers with her, but it depends on how much he can go through. 15 seconds left, 95% done. Will he be able to clean up? Still a couple storages left, and you could be able to do it here, B, with those last two gold storages. Looking to see if it can go on through, but the champion should be able to clean this up. 100% free stars could be pretty happy about that, but you're right though, it was very, very tight knit considering what we saw there. Yeah, I was a little bit worried about losing so many miners inside the core of the base, but that royal champ really carried through, and I didn't notice that the queen still had her ability left, so he kind of knew he was in a safe zone on that one, so GG um, for Buffin, but we've got ND coming in now, and um, ND again is one of the former 2019 world champions, uh, previously playing in Nova and new to the Badzinger team this year, which has given them quite a successful run through many different leagues, but he's bringing us through with another queen charge Lalo this time around. So the queen lining this up, again, very patient before dropping those healers as soon as the air defense goes down. Ooh, not the other one though. <laughs> <laughs> never mind, never mind. As already as the push does come in, especially with the queen gonna look on going through, does find one of the testers. So at least one of the loons did find something rather than nothing as the king does come out as well. But still a, a very good start. Not as patient as the one beforehand, but still much better looking to take down the expert, the arch tower, the eagle artillery momentarily as well as the wizard tower still still a lot to take out then still plenty of ways to push on through so this is very very quick attack so in terms of time fail should be okay should have plenty of time for this bulk of attack to come out momentarily so you can see the king at the top just trying to take out as much as possible the expo would definitely be a fair play there to finish off before he gets taken down maybe take on the archer tower here funny enough and as you can see the queen just trying to take out the inferno tower also the scanner shot as well if possible as some more of the defenses do come from the side of penta but how are we going to hold it as the world champion also rejoins the fray? Yeah, he's trying to keep that queen's focus off of the archer tower, um, it looked like. But we get the royal champ who is struggling a bit against the hound, dies out, and the queen is now responsible for trying to take on the scatter shot. He doesn't quite get as much of the value um, that I think he was hoping to get out of this royal champ, but it looks like the queen may be, would have just enough juice to get this done. Healer's keeping her strong along this one. And uh, with that, he's in a secure spot. Lalo starts with a stone slammer cutting in. Look at the position of it because we're going to see it come into play ideally for that scatter shot here but we need to get through this town hall at the same time so the warden ability needs to come off properly yeah not looking too bad here as we're still going to push on through as we've still got a minute remaining, still are now on 69%, but the push will continue to see how much they can do. So you can see there some defenses left, the scanner shot, the wizard tower as well, and still got a couple of archer towers and the expo there just pushing on through. Just gonna throw a few more loons around in that three o'clock position. But so far it's been okay. It depends how much more they can do now in terms of damage count and you see at the trap is gonna almost clean up those healers. It doesn't matter the inferno tower managed to finish up anyway nicely. So the queen doesn't have any more healers, but her work has almost been done here. Her value has been, you know. The weight in gold has been ridiculous and still continuing on through that warden as well. The warden is still pretty weak here. So the minions are trying to clean up as much as they can in terms of some of the structures on the outside to make up for the percentage. And you can see there, 88%, two stars, not what they were hoping for, but yeah, definitely could have been a lot worse considering how soon they uh, she lost that queen. And even with the royal champion as well, it's a shame that Lava, the actually Lava Hand went for the royal champion instead of the queen. Yeah, it's just not quite enough value out of this one. And especially with the Stone Slimer, it would have been nice to see that pushing deeper in. Now, I do love the placement of the haste here to try and sweep the loons quickly through. But you can see that the loons continue to get pushed back. And that one's a bit problematic for them. 
Yeah, it's a little bit of a shame that we've had a few, you know, not the worst of starts here and there. I thought the start, start in terms of timing and the speed and the pace was perfectly fine, but just couldn't find a way in around that three o'clock position. It was just a little bit of a shame there. Just, you know, a few prioritization in terms of targets just kind of like failed in some areas. So a little bit of a shame here, but we're going to see how GK Tim from Pence is going to do now and find out what his attack's going to be like coming up next. So just patiently waiting to see exactly where he wants to attack from first. Looks like we'll be going in at one o'clock position to see if we can find any traps as well as taking out a couple of the defenses if he's lucky with the sweeper just pushing him at bay just being a real pain in the backside as the free spell does come in so the blimp has a bit more of an easier path here as it goes for the town hall yeah, that's a really key thing to think about. If you're sending in your blimp and there's an air sweeper there, hold it off. But he does not get what he needs out of this despite having those invisibility spells down. And GK Tim has got to rethink this completely. That bomb just obliterating everything. Those super wizards get no value. So um, this is going to be a bit of a problem. We've got two more invisibility spells left over from this. So you can see a slight pause, which means he's thinking about, you know, how he's going to adjust this. We get that initial uh, shallow wall break in to give the queen access to pick off the town hall. It's smart because it means she'll stay out of range of that poison bomb. Um, but it also means that the queen where, is going to lose value where he originally intended to have her. But we'll see how he adjusts with these invisibility spells that he has left over. Yeah, I'm curious to see what he can do here. Still taking out a couple of turrets, the expo, the arch tower over there, just you know, trying to pave way to help the drags go through, using a few loons, and here comes some of the main attack as well. Let's see what's going to happen here, coming from that two o'clock position, just going to push on through towards that cannon, the multi-inferno tower, as well as the arch tower wizard tower underneath with the air defense too. Just going to see if he can have a bit more aggression, as it's not looking too bad so far. A little bit of a bad start, but how much damage is the eagle artillery going to do? That's going to be the next question. Um, that eagle will continuously fire away, which is why we would ideally want to see the king coming in. We might need to use the royal champ now to help re-navigate it. The dragons have a little bit wider pathing than he had initially hoped, and you can see they completely bypass the ground bow up top. So that means there's going to need to be some backtracking here for cleanup, and dragons can be notoriously slow to try and clean things up with a back-end multi and scatter shot. I'm a bit worried for this, but it looks like he's trying to play his cards right with his patience here. Yeah, this is the thing with the dragons. They have a fair amount of HP, but like you said, with the movement speed going with it, it doesn't really help. In the slightest, Monty Inferno just trying to target here, there, and everywhere, just trying to push this attack back. 45 seconds left, and a few dragons left on that 6 o'clock position. And to see what it can do now, still, there's still quite a bit of defense left at the testers, the cannon, the expo as well, just to keep everything at bay with the world champion pushing from the north side and the south side as well. So don't get me wrong, it's a good sandwich, it's a good pinch, but you know, it's not going to be enough for 25 seconds left to have to save. Yeah, so the royal champ, he did a beautiful job, superb, trying to get her in, sneaking in to take on that scatter shot. Dragon's working through the multi. Now, the multi doesn't really do as much damage, not nearly as enough as the single targeting Inferno, but it will start picking them off once they're low health and once they have other objects in front of them that they have to work their way through. And this was a lovely attempt at a recovery, considering he had to use that queen value where he would have used it elsewhere to help keep those dragons shaped up. So if that had actually gone the way he had hoped, we would have seen a three star, but recovery sometimes is the name of the game. Absolutely, he needs to try and get the best of a bad situation. It did look pretty bleak considering the start he had, but now we're going to move on, on now from the next attack from Bad Zinger's side and see how we can continue on with their path. Just an overall update to see exactly what has occurred so far. Penta already had their fourth attack early on. It's, that's 10 stars, 94.8%. And the Bad Zinger, you can see eight stars, 96%. So a three star will really, really help them. But even then, though, even if it's a high percentage two star, but at least that way the, the average percentile, the Leading up to the final attack will be huge and will definitely help out nonetheless. Look at what he's got coming in here. He comes up with a skelly donut to take down the clan castle on the inside of the base. A beautiful one at that. So this is going to help narrow out some of the pathing. We do need to connect it a little bit for the heroes to help pick up some more value. But he's got a lovely shape for the hogs, which is something that we don't often get to see. Hog attacks are very rare, but I noticed 13 goblins. This haste dropping down. And he's getting ready to sneak in the sneaky goblins to take down the town hall. I mean, this is a lovely one. This is something that it, I would say it's a treat. This entire combination here. Ooh, a couple more sneaking in. To get it taken down, has to freeze it up. Ooh, it's hanging on by a 
red. Oh, that was so, so oh. close. Literally on the brink. But you're right, though. 36 hog riders as well in his back pocket to get ready to use. I'm very interested to see this attack. I haven't seen an attack like this in, look at these you know, in ever. Builders. Look at these battle builders that are getting it back oh. to help. So this, unfortunately, bites him a little bit in the butt. We do have the log launcher to come through, help assist with the royal champion because he knows the royal champ might not be enough with all the defenses surrounding. And we've got all the ice golems working through, but again, we're talking about having to completely adjust to what went wrong here. Yeah, that's right. It's all about adaptation. The Royal Champion just pushing on through on that north side, just going through each and everything. The Archer Town Expo signed as much as they can as well as the Town Hall. Royal Champion does come in to try and finish it off. Will it be able to do it? Trying his absolute best, but the builders weren't enough. Finally, it was taken down, but at what cost? That wasn't really a much value at all. He lost quite a lot just to take down the Town Hall. And you can see the king and queen did not pick up exactly what he needed out of this because we've got a ton of defenses that is going to have to be another backtrack uh, either for this queen or for, uh, well, it looks like a, is it, no, queen's still alive. So either for the queen or these hogs, but the hogs are making beautiful progress. We've got one more heal to come down into the scatter uh, wizard tower compartment where we have all the splash and possible giant bombs here because we've got those open bays. So that is a lovely placement to keep them alive, but we've only got... 38 seconds left to go. And again, you have to get back to the bottom side of the base with the amount of defenses that remain there. This is not looking like an easy go for Boar. No, not at all. You can rely on a hog rider's movement speed, but, you know, with 25 seconds left, it's going to be so, so close. It's going to continue on with this push. Only a couple of little bits and pieces here and there in terms of defense with the Inferno Tower, Archer Tower, and the Wizard Tower as well. It's still there. The Spring Trap does come in just to delay the push and to delay the DPS of the attack. It's not looking too great here. Don't think it's going to get 100%. Eight seconds left. Just not enough time at all. And you can see they're still trying to break through the wall, but it's just not going to happen. But nice try, and it's nice to see you know, some versatility here, a different variety of units in comparison to what we normally see in terms of composition. Absolutely. I'm really excited that we got to see um, a sneaky, I call it Sneaky Goblin Town Hall takedown. Uh, unfortunate that it wasn't quite as successful. And you can see he drops that haste. He tries to get it going um, and unfortunately was met with a little bit of resistance. And he tried with the Royal Champ. Yeah. If you're going to take taken down, that was a nice adjustment. But that means the Royal Champ wasn't able to take on that single targeting Inferno and help with the cleanup of the base. Had he been able to get this done the way he intended, it, again, would have been a three star. The plans are here, but just small minor things that hitch these guys up. And you saw there in the stats there be one and a half percent difference between both teams leading up to these next attackings. Yeah, you just think about the value for on the defense they actually got. The fact that you know couldn't take down the town hall straight away, had to use the world champion just to try and finish things up. There was so much he lost just to make that one attack work, which is a little bit of a shame. And you know, again having to adapt to you know configure out exactly what he wants to do for his next attack because he's not gonna have as many units. That definitely could be hundred percent. You're absolutely spot on here as the attack wall coming from Hocus Pocus from Penn to see if we'll try and take down this defense on the side of Badzinger. A very nice use of the sneaky goblins to help um, funnel up this queen, get her going in the position he wants her to. But you can see we do leave the eagle open. I'm curious if he's going to look to bring in the royal champ or depending on the connection of the wall break, the super wall break that comes in, actually the queen could potentially get access to this. But king's dropped to help shape up this funnel. We've got the royal champ sneaking along who's actually going to help take on the multi-targeting inferno. Oh, the loons are coming in through that range. This is lovely. Picks up some bombs along the way. Let's see if he drops a couple more um, to try and take down that eagle as well. Yeah, and the queen is going to be sitting there in that same spot for a while now, just taking down his lava pops as well, just looking to take down that eagle artillery if possible. Even though the sweeper is there, it's just going to be pushing back just a little bits and pieces. It's not going to really do too much. You'll be okay. It will push back the healers, but it doesn't mean it's going to cause any trouble for the queen as he will take down the expo and the wizard tower as well. So not looking too bad. You can see down south as well, the king just taking down all the structures from the south side just to make room for that next attack. And it will be that or the loons and the minions as well. It depends on where they're actually going to push on through. But queen's still doing a very good job here, making sure to stay alive just to continue this on and taking out a lot of defenses here and there from the center side. She is indeed. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see the Royal Champ taking down that multi-targeting Inferno, but the Queen has a jump now to connect her both to the centralized one and the three o'clock one. So this will work out perfectly if the focus can stay moving in there. The Royal Champ's going to distract her a little bit, this defending RC and the Wizard Tower. So these loons come in quickly to try and pick this off, get the Queen back on track and working through. Let's see if she does it. But the Lalo pathing is looking really nice here. 
Yeah, this is incredible considering like the start that Hocus Pocus has had coming into this, even with the blimp now as well. Do you need the blimp at this point? Well, you know, better be safe and sorry, be just in case as the push will continue on as the minions have taken out the outer structures here. Not like it matters anyway with the loons just push on through to purposely attack and prioritize that defense. The freeze spell comes in anyway just to delay the defense of the DPS, but still only the expo in one of the towers is still left standing. Yeah, the defense is at the back, but should be okay. Shouldn't we be too much of an issue as the queen is now going to reach on the fray with the rest of the pack just to see if you can give that extra help if required but 30 seconds left to be three stars 100% they're gonna be very very happy about that for Penta and now Badzinger you know they're gonna to be the ones to try and uh, replicate exactly what's just been done by Penta. That was an absolutely stunning push through with the blimp, with the loons. Now the blimp carrying the sneaky goblins to actually take down the town hall. But did you notice how the loons stayed right outside of the poison bomb range? Um, just because once that town hall was down, they didn't need to go through. They were slightly delayed, slightly behind. So that gave them everything they needed to wrap around, get to that air defense. And the freeze to help hold it off was lovely. Queen value here was insane. Yeah, it was absolute madness. And not only that, it was insane in terms of what she'd done to taking a lot of the defense, but also due to the fact that, you know, the pathing she took to actually go into that center bit as well to consume a lot of the damage which the loons were coming through from that nine o'clock position as well. It wasn't just the pathing, but it was just the speed and the tempo she was able to push on through just to speed things up in case, even if it is going to be a clean attack to at least get the 100% that so desperately required here. As now we're going to see from Bad Zinger's side exactly if they can take down Penta with Hocus Pocus defending this time around to see what they can do. Yeah, so uh, Penta in a, in a great spot, obviously, because they had the percent on their side to get that. That's exactly what they needed, I believe. But we get the Yeti Blimp to come in. Let's see if uh, Badzinger can finish off strong. Does pick up the not only the value of taking down the defenses within that compartment, but we get the double duty of pulling out the clan castle troops. Now, we see this a lot because we want to get those in a section where the queen uh, can help pick them off very quickly with very limited damage coming on her. Yeah, you can see so far the queen is continuing on there, just pushing up from that eight o'clock position, just taking out some of the bits of the structure here and there. The scanner shot's gonna be the main focus as well as that air defense, can be pushed on shortly, but it's focusing on the south side going towards that air defense. The cannon and expo does get involved. You can see the queen is still there, still doing a good job, treating like a playground, pushing around the south side, just finish off some of those structures. So not bad so far, it's a little bit slow, but we'll see how this next attack comes. Yeah, no, interesting combination because I was just noticing that the Queen had brought the uh, Electro Owl, which means the Royal Champ's going to have the Unicorn to come with her, giving her a little extra life. We'll see how that benefits this. But the Queen working through into the Eagle compartment, we have yet to drop the King, and we have that wall break open for the Scattershot compartment, so that could be a nice spot for him to work through. The only problem I would think at this point is we need him to actually take on the town hall. I don't think this is quite the passage that we wanted to see the queen go. It looks like, again, another um, adaptation to try and go along with the flow. But is this king actually going to make his way into the town hall? Because it doesn't look like we have it funneled up quite enough. He's going to work along the outskirts. So there needs to be a plan B, which would mean the royal champion. And that might be a tough ask with all of these ground bows surrounding. Yeah, this is getting a little bit worrying now. It's a still don't push towards that town hall, but even then you can see on that north side as well, the King Yacht just going for the outer edge, just going towards that cannon, but isn't actually pushing through there. The world champion, like you mentioned, B, is going to push towards that town hill and will, well, you could say, it's going to try and take it down, especially the Yak just healing on his back foot should be okay there. But it's, you can see there are 35 seconds left to take out all these structures. Still a fair amount of defense on the back. You can see the scanner shot more to all the other bits and pieces to try and hold this back if it can, but they're still going to be very aggressive with this push. 25 seconds left and they really really need this free star here B. Yeah, this is not traditional and again looking like it had to adapt to what went wrong I mean he got beautiful value out of this all things considered Queen still hanging on her ability getting to that back end scatter shot but not enough time on the clock to even try and think about finishing this one up and it lands into a time fail with something that went pretty untraditional, pretty wrong, and really had to work on the fly. 89%, I wouldn't complain about that, though it does set Badzinger now 12 to 13 against Penta. Yeah, that was such a shame. You couldn't believe it. You couldn't even ask for it.